pause and read the problem before continuing. Taking a look at the formulas, both have one carbon atom. Since each model has one black atom, carbon must be the black atom. Next, there are two hydrogen atoms in each formula. Since each model has two white atoms, those must be the hydrogen atoms. Finally, formaldehyde has only one oxygen, while formic acid has two. Model 1 has one red atom, oxygen, which must make it formaldehyde, while Model 2 has two red atoms, making it formic acid. Now answering the question, formic acid is represented by Model 2. This model has a different number of oxygen atoms than the other model. Pause and read the problem before continuing. Looking at the data table, the light-colored fish population decreased by 22%, while the dark-colored fish population increased by 22%. This would show that after the new predator is added to the pond, the dark-colored fish have a better chance of surviving than fish of the other color. The next part gives you three choices for the reasoning. This is because the predator cannot see them as well as fish of the other color, can move faster than this species of small fish, predicts where each color of fish will be. The clues to pick the correct answer are in the passage, where it states, a species of small fish lives in a shady pond with a dark bottom. It would make sense that the dark colored fish would be more camouflage in this environment, and therefore have a greater chance of surviving the new predator. So the correct choice is, cannot see them as well as fish of the other color. Pause and read the problem before continuing. Which student claim and supporting statement are about the design that best meets the two criteria? The passage states that the bottle must be break resistant and keep the water hot for the longest time. In order to be break resistant, the inner lining should be made of steel rather than glass, which is very brittle, and having a foam insulating cover will act as an insulator to help keep the water warm. Therefore, bottle 3 best meets these two criteria. Pause and read the problem before continuing. The first step is to analyze the data table and determine which variable is kept constant between different trials. In both trial 1 and trial 2, the mass of the objects is kept constant, while the distance between the objects increases. The next column uses scientific notation to compare the gravitational force between the two objects. The values indicate that the gravitational force decreases from trial 1 to trial 2. Now, if we compare trials 3 and 4, the distance between the objects is kept constant and this time the mass decreases. The gravitational force also decreases as the mass decreases. Therefore, the correct choice is D. Both mass and distance are variables that affect the gravitational force between two objects. For part B, the choices for the boxes are decreased, increased, or stayed the same. The first statement compares the masses, and since it talks about masses increasing, we'll need to see how gravity changes from trial 4 with the lower mass to trial 3 with the higher mass. Therefore, as the masses of both objects increased, the gravitational force between them increased. The second statement talks about distance increasing, so we can compare trial 1 to trial 2. Therefore, as the distance between the objects increased, the gravitational force between them decreased. Pause and read the problem before continuing. Use the information in the passages along with the graph to see if the data support the claim that an increased demand for almonds will directly cause a decrease in California's limited freshwater supply. Since the passage states that 4% of California's freshwater supply is used to grow almonds, the data supports the scientist's claim because, as the demand for almonds increases, Almond production in California will most likely increase, which will increase the use of fresh water. Pause and read the problem before continuing. The paramecium population grows rapidly at point A because there are plenty of resources, like food and space, available. Since there are only a few paramecia, they can reproduce quickly without running out of anything they need. At point B, the population growth slows down because the paramecia have reached the carrying capacity of their environment. Resources like food, space, and nutrients become limited, so the population cannot keep growing as fast. There are just enough resources to support the population, but not enough for it to grow much bigger. Pause and read the problem before continuing. 
Use the passage and data table to see which earthquake best matches the criteria for a tsunami. Most tsunamis are caused by earthquakes with magnitudes over 7. They occur under the ocean or near coastlines. They are less than 100 kilometers below Earth's surface. Earthquake B matches all of these descriptions and is therefore most likely to create a tsunami. Pause and read the problem before continuing. For this problem, we're looking for evidence that a field exists in a region around a magnet. A magnet touched to a paper clip picks it up from a table. Touching the magnet to the paper clip shows magnetic attraction, but doesn't demonstrate the field because the objects are in contact. A magnetic field is about forces acting at a distance. A magnet held near a small metal ball makes the ball roll across a table. The ball moves without the magnet touching it, showing the magnet exerts a force at a distance, evidence of the magnetic field. The north pole of a magnet sticks to the south pole of a second magnet when they touch. Like the paper clip example, this is just physical attraction upon contact, not proof of a field acting at a distance. A small magnet held under a piece of paper with iron filings on top makes the filings move into a pattern that covers the whole paper. The magnet affects the iron filings through the paper, clearly showing the invisible magnetic field's shape and presence. Pause and read the problem before continuing. The first answer, seafloor spreading, is correct because it explains the process that caused the continents to move apart from their original positions. Seafloor spreading happens when new oceanic crust forms at mid-ocean ridges and pushes the plates apart, leading to continental drift over millions of years. The second answer, presence of identical fossils is correct because finding Mesosaurus fossils in both South America and Southern Africa, but nowhere else, provides strong evidence that these continents were once connected. The identical fossils suggest the species once lived in a shared habitat before the land masses drifted apart. This problem is about testing how different metals change temperature at different rates when exposed to heat. The student is using metal rods made of iron, copper, and aluminum to test this. To investigate this claim, the student needs a heat source, like hot water, to warm the metal rods, a way to hold the water and metal rods in place, a stopwatch to measure time, a thermometer to check how quickly each metal heats up. The best answer is D, hot water, a pan to hold water a stopwatch, and a thermometer. These tools allow the student to control the experiment and measure temperature changes accurately. Pause and read the problem before continuing. This problem is about how mutations in DNA can affect the proteins that are made. DNA is read in groups of three nucleotides, codons, and each codon codes for a specific amino acid. If the DNA sequence changes, it can change the codons, which can change the protein. Looking at the DNA sequences, we see that multiple codons have changed due to the mutation. This means different amino acids will be used, so the final protein will not be the same as the one made from the original DNA. Since proteins rely on exact amino acid sequences to function properly, even small changes can impact how they work. The correct answer is C the protein formed will not be the same as that formed from the original DNA sequence.